Hello again. It's been a busy month. I was a guest at FairyCon earlier in November, which was magical. I kind of love that convention. And this past weekend I had a local holiday fair called Broke. And coming up this weekend, I have another holiday fair up in Portland, Maine. And I am also preparing for a gallery show in New York. I have a piece in a show at Haven Gallery coming up. So my schedule is going to have me running around until the end of December. <clears throat> um, if you would like to learn more about the tarot deck that I'm working on, you can visit bloodmoontarot.com and I will we'll put a link in the description. You can also support my project by becoming a patron through Patreon, and I'm really, really happy to have people supporting me through that. It's a really easy way to support creators, and it helps a lot in you know, getting supplies for our studio, keeping on a somewhat regular schedule with producing art, and you know, even just having people there watching you do all this stuff behind the scenes is really cool. So consider checking out Patreon if you haven't heard of it. Um, also for Patreon, um, a couple months ago for part of the rewards, I did these cool little ink drawings of these moths with like eyeballs and moons and stuff and they had little gold details. And a lot of people have asked me how they can get one. So I am doing moths again this month. Um, I have two slots open on the star tier, which gets you a smaller sized moth. And then I have a new tier that is called the moon, and you can get an 8x10 ink drawing of a moth through there. And that's only this month, so sign up before December in order to get one of those. So, for this video I really wanted to talk briefly about the tower card itself. It's a card that most people with tarot experience tend to dread in a reading, but after sitting with this one and watching it play out in the environments around me, um, in my friends' situations, and in my own sort of internal process of working through some stuff, I developed a new appreciation for its meaning and the lessons that can be learned from it. So even without knowing much about the card, um, if you think of the sort of iconic Rider Waite deck, um, which is what most people think of when they think of tarot, the imagery is dark and violent. There's lightning and fire destroying a tower and there's people falling or leaping from the tower. The sky is black. It's very, very dark imagery. It probably evokes fear and it's not imagery that you want to see um, or really relate to. So the tower itself is a symbol of all the things that protect us and make us feel safe. Things that sort of separate us from a bigger truth or reality. So things like our beliefs about how the world works, um, who we are, what we're supposed to be doing. Um, the tower sort of are, it's these beliefs that we stand on in order to view the surrounding landscape. Um, but the thing about that is that by standing in your tower, separating yourself from the landscape, you can't really have a full understanding of it. Um, it holds you back in a way. So growth, change, and truth are all kind of hard, uncomfortable, and sometimes dark things, but denying yourself the ability to face those things and to work through um, those difficulties will kind of get you nowhere. So the destruction of the tower comes when we're forced to see the truth, forced to step out of our place of comfort, or when we have our beliefs and ideals shattered. It's painful and shocking, but ultimately the upheaval allows you to grow. It frees you from your own beliefs that are holding you back, and that's the really lovely thing about the tower. 
if you can just sit with your discomfort and work through it, it can open up a whole new world of possibilities. If you want to learn a little bit more about the tower, I might ask yourself some questions such as what beliefs do you have that are holding you back from personal growth? What changes are you afraid of? What fears have you learned from your past experiences and how do they shape your behavior and ability to see things as they really are? And what positive experiences could you have from becoming aware of and reshaping your beliefs and behavior? Um, that's all I have for the tower. If you have any experiences with the tower, I would love to hear them, so please leave a comment. I will be posting temperance in the next week or so. Um, thank you so much.